So this is the U.S. Navy G-Type Alex Ellsworth Light Navy engine. It's a G2, the number at the end after 1911 or 1916 means where it was made. This one is from the Navy Yard, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's got the Navy throttle valve, which is a lot like a locomotive throttle. The sibling valve is there. So this valve, it doesn't turn it into a 2 HP. Almost none of the American engines do that. All it does is it puts live steam from this and directs it to the admission side of the LP chest. If you open the sibling valve, it kind of chokes the HP cylinder with steam on both sides of it. You'll see the difference in performance. See, the engine actually slows down and becomes more uneven. And there it is as a compound again. And that's the cutoff. These engines, even with a flywheel on it, these engines will not run smoothly, really, unless they're against the load of a screw propeller, and more importantly, with the vacuum of a condenser on their exhaust end. This engine's got its wet air pump right here. This is a double Edwards type. It works like an Edwards, except the bucket is double-ended buckets, and it pulls a vacuum, and I should say, it withdraws condensate from the condenser in both directions. So both directions is suction stroke on one end and a feed to the hot well. These Navy engines are, uh, I sort of, they're not really my speed, but they do have very nice comprehensive oil systems with these nice sort of multi, multi-chambered boxes for the wicks. Just got to make sure everything's where it ought to be. This is how you start a wick oiler. You just put the wick down the tube, and when you don't desire it to feed anymore, you take the wick out of the tube. These little metal followers. Got a couple of spares, too. And we're going to start warming her up. The throttle just cracked. And you'll be a few minutes before you get it turning. Especially on an engine with a big block like this. On a big, big engine, like in a liner, it can take you something like an hour and a half, two hours, four hours to warm it up before you turn the shaft. Same thing with the big waterworks engines that I work with. You want to get all the chests. Right now we're in the HP only, but this is the simpling valve. Every one of these Navy engines has a simpling valve on it. So we'll just crack that and put steam into the LP so that one can get its fair share. And of course, unfortunately, we don't have a condenser right now or a propeller to hold us back, so we've got to be extra gentle. join you when we're done warming up. All right, so this is the K. You saw the G before, this is the K. The Navy built a series of engines for their small watercraft. These would be things like captain's cutters, launches, ship to shore things, uh, officers' transports, general crew transports, anything that wasn't a ship. As far as I know, people might be able to correct me on that. Alex Ellsworth knows a lot more about the history of these things than I do. I just know how they work. Each letter was a different type, and it was not 
an orderly scheme. Things did not get from smaller to bigger A, B, C, D. They're all over the place. For instance, the E, we'll show a picture of it, the E type in New Jersey 1 and the G are very close together in size and build. They have the similar frame and everything and the similar block. And you think, oh, what's the Navy F look like? It's probably something right between the E and the G. No, it's a much smaller than both of them. It's a beautiful, it's very European. It's got a radial valve here and two cross truss frames and you can fit it on your coffee table. So that's what an F is like. A B is like a smaller version of this. This is a K and the M is a bigger version of a K. We'll show a picture of Mascot's M. But the K is almost just a shrunken uh, M. And I do not know, the M's were made the M's were made in A and B, port and starboard pairs for a twin screw ship. I don't know if the K's were made in port and starboard mirror pairs, but that's a K. It's for sale. As is typical with a Navy engine, these are the cylinder drains here for the bottom end only. What you think of for cylinder drains are for the release valves or the uh, indicator box. This is the sibling valve, the same exact layout as the G. The sibling valve here. And the Navy throttle valve.